All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today on this Wednesday, December the 29th, 2021? Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you're spending and enjoying this time with people you care about. Thank you for joining me here tonight for another metallic episode of Music of Destruction. Bringing you guys the very best in metal related content right here on YouTube on the only metal channel you need. If you missed anything in the past week, click the eye in the upper right corner of the screen. Get caught up on all my latest videos. I would really appreciate it. If you want me to review anything, make suggestions in the comments section below. No slam, deathcore, metalcore, or modern tech death. I fucking hate the genres. Remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything. You're looking at the hardest working metal channel on the platform. No one's going to give it to you as brutally honest, upfront, controversial, and unfiltered as myself. I want to welcome you guys to Album Ranking Wednesdays here on the channel. Tonight we're going deep beneath the earth once again into the land down under of Australia with a look at one of the pioneering bands of extreme metal with sadistic execution. Yes, that's, fo that's right, folks, and this is a very underrated band in so many ways, and definitely one that is quite underground, but for all of the right reasons. Uh, now, before we get into the album ranking, I'm going to give you guys a background on the band and the lineup. Now, Sadistic Execution was an extreme metal band from Sydney, Australia, and they formed back in 1985. And though their main active period was from 86 until 2004, they were known for their outrageous live show antics, notorious behavior, and non-conformist attitude. Now, Sadistic Execution also wrote and recorded and performed their own extreme form of death metal throughout their career. The band members have also firmly stated that they should not at all be confused with or wrongly labeled as black metal. Now, ironically, however, the band was also quite influential on some of the early Scandinavian black metal bands as well as other extreme metal bands from around the world. Their last official live show was in Sydney in 1999, and although they did reunite once more in November of 2009 to perform as the main act in the first annual Australian Metal Awards in Sydney, Australia. Alright, so the lineup is as follows. We have Dave Slave on bass, Sloth on drums, Chris Hades guitars, and Rock doing the vocal work. Alright, so let's get into the ranking, shall we? Coming in at number 5, we have Fuck 2, released in 2004 on Osmos Production. And this album was a very hit and miss record for me. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not one that was very well thought out, executed, or planned. There's a lot of stuff here that doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of a cohesive fashion. It still has some decent moments, it still has some uh, memorable songwriting here, but it's very unprepared. It sounds very rushed, it sounds almost like they were just trying to put something out uh, without much inspiration or thought being put into it. It's not, their wor it's not the most terrible album out there, but it's definitely far from one of the best, number 5, Fuck 2. Coming in at number 4, we have Fuck, released in 2002 on Osmos Production. This is a more of a decent record. It's a little bit more cohesive than Fuck 2. It still kind of misses the mark for me, though. It did get some higher ratings on Metal Archives. If I was going to review this album, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. Um, it has some decent songs on it. It has some very powerful extremities and some very deep uh, instrumentation and, and some ambience, but it's not, again, a very well thought out or put together cohesive record. It sounds a little bit juxtaposed and a bit all over the place, but it's not terrible. It's definitely not as bad as the album that would come after it, but it's def not really one that makes the jump for me. It's decent, number four, fuck. Coming in at number three, Chaos, K-A-O-S, released in 1997 on Shock Records. This is one of their better records. It's a decent follow-up to We Are Death, Fuck You. Uh, it had some different directions they were heading. They were experimenting a little bit more on this record. Uh, there's a bit more of an ambient influence on this record as well, but it's still extreme metal and very powerful, well-written stuff here. Some great lyricism, great guitar work, bass, and I love the raw production that the band never strafed away from, despite having less than uh, decent subsequent albums that would come after. Chaos is a great album, number three. Coming in at number two, We Are Death, Fuck You, released in 1994 on Osmos Productions, the follow-up to The Magus, a very, 
very decent album. This one, one of my favorites from them, one I come back to a lot, definitely one I'm going to be buying, and one that had was a successor to the Magus. It kind of expanded on that sound, went a little bit in some different directions here. There's some different nuances and peaks and valleys, but still a very decent album. It's heavy, raw, aggressive, and extreme. Definitely one that if you love sadistic execution, you're going to want to pick up We Are Death, Fuck You. It is their second best album in my opinion. Now maybe it's your favorite album, and if it is, let me know in the comments what your favorite sadistic execution album is and or songs. Great album, number two, We Are Death, Fuck You. Coming in at number one, the only album I own from the band currently, The Magus, released in 1991 on Vampire Records. This album set the benchmark for so many bands that were coming out at the time, especially hailing from Australia where extreme metal wasn't very well known. And I would say Sadistic Execution were among one of the first bands to emerge from the extreme metal scene within Australia. And they definitely carry that torch very high and bright on this record. It burns powerfully. There's some amazing ambient darkness to this album. It's very occult. It's very ritualistic and barbaric and abrasive and raw, extreme, powerful, heavy, convicted. And their best album, their best written as well in terms of songwriting. And uh, yeah, the lyricism's a little bit tongue-in-cheek on some of the tracks, but the atmosphere of this album is where it really, really shines and it conveys a very dark, evil, occult atmosphere. And I absolutely love it to death, so Sadistic Executions the Magus gets number one and if you love any of these albums let me know in the comments section what your order is how you'd rank these records what you love the most about sadistic execution because I'd love to know because to me they're a very criminally underrated band in a lot of ways and I want to give them more attention here on this channel all right so there you have it another album ranking in the books here on music of destruction I hope you enjoyed the premiere tonight if you're new subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell I'd appreciate it Twitter or um, teespring.com forward slash music dash of dash destruction. I have some new designs going up on my store bonfire as well bonfire.com forward slash store forward slash music dash of dash destruction. I'm going to be putting up new merch tonight and uh, it's going to be great. There's some awesome stuff on there. And remember, I don't set the prices, okay? If you want to support on Patreon, I'd appreciate that. The Seed Episode 35, The History of Cryptopsy, is up there right now. Thank you to those who are supporting. It really uh, goes a long way and shows you love the channel and the content. And I thank you guys very much. Colton, James, and myself have completed our first movie review of Alien. So make sure you head on over to Beyond the Big Screen Movie and Game Review and check that out. We're going to be working on Aliens very soon. We also do game streams over there from time to time. Subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. We'll see you for Top 15 Thursdays. Have an awesome night. Cheers. See you guys in the next video.